As the off-season winds down, the hot stove rumors will begin to dissipate. Workout highlights and updates will replace free agent and trade buzz. Before that transition takes place, though, it's fun to look back on the winter's rumors. December I compiled the best rumors of 2018, capturing a good deal of the off-season's excitement. Today I'll take the opposite side of the coin and collect the most head-scratching, frustrating, and overall my ones. To come up with this list, I searched the rumors and hot stove tab here on Pins Dry Valley. Feel free to make up your own collection and share them in the comments. The Yankees are out on Bryce Harper, unless they're not, the 5th of November 18, one of the most frustrating rumors of the offseason also happened to be one of the earliest. Just weeks removed from the World Series came word that the Yankees had no interest in pursuing top free agent Bryce Harper. At the time that seemed like posturing. Why would the Bombers sacrifice leverage and show their cards to the world? As it turns out, however, that report was accurate. The Yankees have yet to make any push for the outfielder. How lame is that? Yankees reportedly interested in Josh Harrison, the 9th of November 18, the very definition of meh. The Yankees discussed a Gary Sanchez for JT. Real Muto trade, and it still doesn't make sense, in November 29, 18, before JT. Real Muto landed with the Phillies, the Marlins engaged virtually every team in baseball on the catcher. The Yankees somehow got caught up in the discussions, with a rumored swap of Gary Sanchez for Real Muto. Now the varying permutations of the trade talks, including the floated three-way deal with the Mets for Noah Syndergaard, were fun. This one, however, seemed pretty bad. Real Muto appears to have been greatly overrated this winter. Give me Sanchez all day, every day. The Yankees reportedly didn't even make an offer to Patrick Corbin, the 6th of December 18. Arguably the most frustrating blow of the offseason came when Patrick Corbin signed a six-year, $140 million deal with the Nationals. Word surfaced a few days later that the Yankees didn't even present an offer to the Southpaw. As it turns out, Brian Cashman only discusses financial parameters in hypothetical terms. Andy Martino explains that Cashman is notoriously difficult to pry an offer from. The frustrating part here comes from the fact the team wouldn't match the offer for the best starter on the market, settling for a decidedly second-tier option in J.A. Hap, Yankees rumors, New York linked to Nolan Arenado, not out on Manny Machado, January 19, 19, on paper, this is a perfectly fine rumor. The Yankees stay in touch with Manny Machado while also keeping their eye towards Nolan Arenado? Sounds completely reasonable to me. The problem, however, is this was obviously a leak from ownership to soften the blow of potentially losing out on Machado. The Yankees tried to pull one over on fans by saying they aren't spending big this year because the prize comes next winter. How long before we hear the real goal was Mike Trout all along? Get out of here, Yankees.